you in? This is our time. The world's changed. And you are right in the center of it. I don't know what's ahead. But all bets are off. Showtime, back in action, and BC, I gotta tell you, this is what I had circled on my calendar. Benavidez taking on Angulo, super middleweight title. This is huge. Now, Angulo not necessarily setting the world on fire as an opponent. I think he's ranked, what, 15th in the division or so? It does have a Latino super middleweight title, whatever that is worth, but okay. Coming off a nice upset over Sims Jr., but Benavidez is, let's make no mistake about it, the A-side, the star of the show, 23 years old. He is excellent at angles, left-handed body work. He's got a piston of a right hand. He he is the real deal Holyfield. If you are looking for, BC, tell me if I'm wrong, the next generation of boxing stars, you can't make that list without putting Be uh, Benavidez on it. Yeah, look, David Benavidez is... Uh he won a world title at age 20, right? He's he's a tall, super middleweight who lets his hands go, loves to throw and bang, has some highlight reel finishes right there. Younger brother, of course, of of the Ramirez who lost to Terrence Crawford in a welterweight title fight. Um, I'm sorry, Benavidez, not Ramirez. Uh, this is an interesting fight for him. We saw him go in there against Anthony Durrell and win back the title he lost when he was suspended for drug use. Now he's back on track. And what to be, we're to be clear, hoping... to be clear, I just want folks to know if you're new to Benavidez, it was Vada who caught him, Voluntary Anti-Doping Association, and it was for cocaine. He got a four-month yeah. suspension, not PEDs. He he was, he was on a plane, yeah, all lit up again. He's put that behind him, Luke, absolutely. But uh, Buck Cherry, here's the absolute point here. This division has some players right now, and a big one that everyone's circling, of course, is Caleb Plant, who uh, has a nice marketing push behind him and also, by the way, might be the best fighter in the division. We're going to find out. A slick boxer, a big-time heart. Him, Benavidez, they don't like each other. So if we are building closer toward having that fight in a unification, both guys under the PBC banner, you're talking about one of the best fights you can make in the sport because Caleb Plant is such a studied and pure boxer and Benavidez, an aggressive guy who walks you down and looks to get you out of there. So Benavidez is going to have to pass this test against a hungry guy in Angulo, but it's all about what it could be building toward in the future. And I've gone on record in the past, Luke, talking about this Division 168. It's fun and talking about Caleb Plant, I know at times he's gotten that sort of like, oh, he's just a white guy that you can market. I think he's good enough to be Canelo Alvarez right now. I'm, I've been on that perch. I've been on that limb. I think he's a special fighter. And to see Benavidez as sort of that perfect contrast in style, if we get to that fight, uh, that tickles me in, in very nice places, Luke. I'm fired up for the future of this division couple things I would point out. Age 23, you might be asking also, you know, how comfortable is he in the spotlight? I think the Durrell fight was on PBC on Fox Fight. He looked to be in total command. Phoenix native obviously represents, uh, you know, both USA and Mexico. But to be clear, this is a guy who doesn't mind having the bright lights shown on him. So that's the first thing I'd say. The second thing I'd say is just in his supreme talent, as I indicated, his double left-hand body work is just sublime. Three, the thing you mentioned that to me really gets my attention is he's a sort of walk you down kind of guy. If you go and look at most of Benavidez's finishes, they're with him pressing an opponent with the opponent's back into the ropes and they are just waiting for the referee to come save them. What's funny about that is Angulo, he's much older, 36, out of Colombia. He's not the tactician or frankly as skilled as Benavidez, but he has the exact same kind of style. So in other words, it's two sort of come forward boxers one a little bit longer in the tooth, coming off of a nice upset over on a matchroom fight against Sims Jr. Benavidez, the slicker of the two, the younger of the two, as I mentioned, the A side. All I'm pointing out is this one has action written all over it. Now the question. Yeah! Are you in? This is our time. The world's changed. And you are right in the center of it. I don't know what's ahead. But all bets are off. Ah!